everyone, and welcome to the Matt Cave. It's actually been a while since I posted anything, and that's because I've been super sick. Um, I went to Phoenix Comic Con, which was stellar this year. It just keeps getting better every single year they do it. Um, had a ton of fun, saw a ton of people I knew. The only thing that kind of sucked was I caught some sort of bug. Like right now, <coughs> trying not to, uh, to cough a bunch. It, uh, I have no idea what I got. I went to two doctors, told me two different things. It just kept snowballing. So I've been out of commission the last few weeks, but I had a great time at Phoenix Comic Con, so it's kind of worth it. Anyways, I'm back with Bandbox. And this month's theme is the 1980s for June. So no matter what they put in here, which they put some awesome stuff in here, um, it's going to be rad because all of our favorite things and our nostalgia generally spawns from the 80s. That's where everything awesome really came from. So that's the theme they went with, and they partnered with some really cool people this month. So I'm just going to crack this thing open and show you what's in the 1980s June BAM box. All right, here's the BAM box. So right on top, oh, sweet. One up, congratulations, you got a one up card. But, um, so they changed the uh, the actual layout to the BAM box last month, and the new thing that started was um, BAM pins, which we got Spider Mander last month. There was the standard one, which was black, and then there was the gold variant. Um, I got the standard one, and I, I love it. I think it's such a cool pin. This month's pin, though, is absolutely ridiculous because it ties totally into the 1980s theme. So check this out. This is a truffle shuffle pin from BAM. So this is their exclusive pin this month that they got made just for them. As you can see, it says 1980s on the back, BAM box, hat pin. So that's so ridiculous. Truffle shuffle. Probably one of the coolest pins I've ever seen. So when I heard about this, I lost it. This is so rad. Um, I'm all about it. <laughs> okay, so that was the first item in the BAM box is this month's pin. So, Let's actually crack this thing open and see what's inside. Collectible paper. Right here we have some ridiculously 80 shades. Um, these are ridiculous. <laughs> these are over the top, weird, but they are super 80s. Um, yeah, these are super 80s. So I'm super blind, but... Uh, Pop these bad boys on. Well, I really can't see anything, but they're pretty ridiculous. I feel like I should challenge someone to like a ski slope battle wearing those things, but they're completely over the top. Not the Stallone movie. Um, anyway, so what we got here is this thing. Uh, so this is the first item. Inside here. is a real, authentic cell, animation cell, from Shira. If you guys didn't know this, uh, Bambox, um, the guys at Bambox, they actually own uh, Comic-Con Auction, so they have ties directly to people that have worked on anything you can think of. So this is a legitimate cell from Shira, which is ridiculous. I don't know if you can see the lighting's kind of weird. Hopefully you can see that. Super cool, right? So you've got the sketch marks and everything right on it. So it's a legitimate sell that they sent out to everyone that got a band box this month. So there's a little cert uh, of authenticity that came with it that states, um, this certificate is to authenticate this original hand-drawn production animation drawing from the animated series Shira. This artwork is one of a kind, authentic, original piece of art that was used in the production of this cartoon. There are no two alike in the world. Signed by John Lohman, the animation from the Animation Inc. archive. So it's actually authenticated, so it's legitimate. That's ridiculous. Um, I want to frame that and hang it up right away, just because it's a it's a film cell that was used in Shira. So that's just super cool. Okay, so next up in the band box, we have this little card here. Uh, it says the band box presents the '80s. Uh, win this. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 NES game signed and sketched by Kevin Eastman himself. So. This is ridiculous. Definitely enter this promotion, guys, because this is legitimate um, from Kevin Eastman. You just gotta post a picture of yourself um, with your favorite item in the band box. 
and you are entered to win. So check it out on Instagram and Twitter. So that's cool. The next item in this box is ridiculous, and I'm so excited about this. This. So I hope you guys know what this is. This is actually a uh, plate replica from Back to the Future 2. So this was the, uh, the plate that was on the back of the DeLorean when they actually went to the future. So this is stinking awesome. This is so cool. I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. I mean, I know a lot of people say that. It's, it's true, there's a lot of Back to the Future fans out there. I'm a massive fan. That's my favorite, favorite movie of all time. That's what got me to love movies. And this is so stinking rad. This is actually gonna go on my, uh, it's actually gonna go up on my wall next to my Mondo Back to the Future poster and my Mondo vinyl. So, I'm all about this. This is so cool. So the next thing in the band box is something that's super cool, super duper cool. We have an exclusive Rocky Davies print. So if you guys don't know who this guy is, I'm pretty sure you've seen this art style online. He does like the coolest 80s art style ever. Like, the best. His shirts have been on like every single one of those like daily shirt sites. He is so stinking good. And he did an original Ghostbusters Slimer piece for the band box. So this one's actually numbered um, at 340 out of 500. So this must have been, this is actually my one up I think is, um, is this variant. Because there's actually two of them. Um, there's two different versions of Slimer, um, but this is amazing. And the cool thing, if you look really close, is if you look at his juice box, it says BAM. He's drinking like Ecto Cooler and it says BAM right on it, so that's just, that's awesome. This print is for sure getting hung up. It's like super thick, really good quality, but it's a Rocky Davies, and this guy is extremely talented. Like, I have a Predator shirt, the, the Predator design he did, I got that as a shirt. I love it, I think he's an amazing artist, and he just does all these cool 80s themes, and they just all look amazing, so this dude, so talented. Okay guys, and the final thing in the band box, which is absolutely ridiculous, is this right here. This is a signed, a signed Ralph Macchio print. So, Ralph Macchio was in town for Phoenix Comic Con, and, we got a signing with him, so yeah, I actually got to go meet Ralph Macchio, which was stinking awesome. The Karate Kid was like right there, and he signed all of these, so this is so awesome. And uh, every single band box got a Ralph Macchio signed piece, and he hand signed every single one of these, so this is amazing, uh, and this is going to get hung up as well just because Karate Kid's badass. I personally like The Outsiders a lot, just throwing that out there, he was awesome in that movie, um, but yeah. Ralph Macho himself signed this. So, two outstanding prints. Actually getting something signed by Ralph Macho himself and then an exclusive from Rocky Davies, which is extreme overkill for this box. That was the 1980s band box, and for me, absolutely loved it. Everything in this box for me hit what I'd want out of the 80s. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about anything here in the band box here today or anything in general, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to chit chat with you guys. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.